Hey y'all, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see behind me, we are gonna be trying every single flavor of KSI and Logan Paul's Energy Hydration Drink Prime. By now, you've all seen those crazy videos in line of people storming stores and like waiting five hours before they open just to get their hands on, you know, bottles of Prime. But yeah, my local store got some in stock and they have every flavor. So that's cool. I went ahead and picked up one of every single flavor. And yeah, we're going to be trying them all right here for y'all today. And I'm also going to give a ranking of each of them. So we're going to see which Prime flavor is the absolute best. And also if I recommend you buying Prime, it's a little bit different than G Fuel, right? It's more of a Gatorade type drink. So it's more about recovery and hydration compared to G Fuel, which is straight up energy. So yeah, I'm very excited. And yeah, the hype is real, man. I bought into it. You know, they did an amazing job with the marketing and the PR, you know, around these, uh, these drinks. So yeah, let's get right into it and waste no more time. But to make this a really fair test and, you know, give Prime the best chance that, you know, I can give it, I think we're gonna get a quick workout in and then obviously try and see if it hydrates us and if the flavor is good or not. So let's go ahead and get a quick gym session, lads. Here we go. Workout is done. Let's go taste some prime. All right, lads, workout is done. It was a good one. And yeah, I'm really excited. Let's go taste some prime. I think before we do start, I'm gonna give my own prediction on the ranking based on what I think I like, what I think the flavor is gonna be like, if it's a banger or not. So let's get started. Orange, I'm sorry, mate. I think these two are gonna be the most boring ones. It's Tropical Punch and Orange. And there's no real mystery behind those flavors. I think everyone knows what they're gonna expect, you know, out of those two flavors. So I think we're gonna put these at the bottom. And then I really do like grape. So I'm gonna put grape up here. Ice pop, I'm not too sure about. It could either be really, really nice or just too sweet in my opinion. So we're gonna put it in the mid pack, I think. And then also this one is strength, Meta Moon. No indication of what Meta Moon is. I assume maybe by the color, it looks like ice shatter a little bit. So maybe like a frosted berry kind of taste, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put it next to ice pop because we are a bit uncertain. Lemon lime sounds really nice, but so does strawberry watermelon. This one, I have high hopes for strawberry watermelon. So I'm gonna put this here and then classic blue raspberry, blue ice from G Fuel. I think it's gonna go right here. So that's my prediction for the flavors as of before trying them. So yeah, grape on top with strawberry watermelon, then we have lemon lime, blue raspberry, meta moon, ice pop, orange, and tropical punch. So yeah, that's my prediction. We're gonna lock that in. We'll compare it, you know, to the end of the video when I get my actual taste ranking. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, what are we gonna try first? Do we start at the top or the bottom? Let's go, let's play safe. Let's play safe and let's try the orange one. So in case you want to see the packaging a little bit, I mean, it's pretty nondescript, just like the big prime logo and then some icons and then obviously the ingredients label. Nothing to scream about too much, but yeah, shake it up a little bit. Kind of excited, man. I mean, there's a lot of hype around it. Problem with a lot of hype is that normally overhyped products under deliver, right? That's the normal reaction to them. So yeah, let's try it, man. Prime hydration. Orange. I mean, this should just be like orange Gatorade, orange Fanta. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's good. Oh, one thing I am noticing compared to G Fuel, I think Prime is very, what's the word? Not viscous. Um, Syrupy, syrupy. I feel like with G Fuel, it's just straight up like a water, like texture, if that makes sense. But with Prime, it's a little bit heavier. So I'm thinking it's more syrupy. Like it feels like it's mixed in with something to make it a little bit thicker, which is not bad. And yeah, it tastes really nice, man. I feel just like I'm drinking regular Gatorade. If I'm being honest, it's just a classical orange, you know, taste. 
I really can't. If you blindfolded me and gave me Gatorade Orange and then this, I couldn't really tell the difference, but it's all right. If you like orange flavored juice, I think this is a good option for you. Not too special if I'm being honest. So I think it's gonna stay down here for now, but let's go up here, I think. I wanna, I wanna go up the list a little bit. Let's move on to grape, why not? So yeah, this is my predicted number one flavor. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Here we go. Prime hydration grape. Oh, I spilled the lid. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, here we go. Cheers. Let's get into some grape. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Wow, that's really nice because it's not overly powerful and overly sweet grape. It feels a lot like Ribena Concentrate. I don't know if y'all have tried that, but sometimes with Ribena, you need to mix it with water. But as a kid, I was very stupid, right? So I would just drink the Concentrate straight because I thought you didn't have to mix it with anything. So it has that very tart and very like syrupy texture. So this really feels like they've just put Ribena Concentrate in here. Mmm. And this honestly exceeded my expectations because I had i worry with these drinks that would just be overloading sweetness because they're meant to be hydration, right? Oh, that's really nice. Wow. Oh, man. I was correct. This is really good. Now, a word of caution about this, though. It is not as sweet as you may think. So if you're thinking it's just like sweet grape soda, that is not true. It's not like grape Fanta. To me, it's a lot more tarty. And that's, I, as you've seen from all my G Fuel reviews, that is something I am a big fan of. But just be careful with this. And you are not getting just an overloading sweetness of soda in there. So yeah, that's really good. Grape is definitely staying near the top for me. I think next we're gonna go with lemon lime because I'm a big fan of citrusy flavors, citrusy drinks, and yeah, it should be really good. I am a bit worried that these are all like pretty uh, simple flavors. By that, I mean they're not mixed with anything, you know, just orange, uh, fruit punch, blue raspberry, grape, they're very simple flavors. Like with G Fuel, you have very compound flavors where you have a lot of different flavor profiles coming together. So it can either be a positive because they're simple, you know what you're getting, or they could be a little bit boring. So let's see, lemon lime. I have good hopes for you, my friend. It smells pretty good, it smells very strong, wow. I just realized I didn't do smell tests with the other ones. Oh well, we'll start now, why not? Yeah. Very strong lemon and lime. It's almost like a lemon candy, like a lemon warhead kind of a smell. Very pungent. And yeah, here we go. Lemon and lime, baby. Have high hopes for you too, mate. Cheers. Lemon and lime, babe. Ooh. Uh-oh. Mmm, mm-mm. No, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 abort, abort, okay. Hear me out. In school, in primary school, when the, the cleaner, when the cleaning person goes into the toilets and they put that like blue cleaning liquid on the floor and it goes through the drain, I know you know what I'm talking about if you've been to an English primary school. That's what this tastes like. It, I'm not crazy, I promise. Buy this and you'll see what I mean. It tastes like laundry detergent or cleaning liquid, like fairy liquid kind of thing. And I'm very confused. Yeah, man, I don't know. Let me know if you've had this, but it has this like cleaning quality to it. It almost tastes like chemically, like really, really chemically. I'm so disappointed. Wow, that is not ideal. Um, Wow, lemon lime, man. Okay, I think we're putting that right here next to orange. Well, probably below orange, actually. Oh, God. Wow. It has a weird aftertaste, too. It really tastes like an industrial cleaner sort of thing. So, yeah, lemon lime is really not okay. Ah, I'm disappointed, man. That was one of my top ones. Okay. Let's move on to... Uh, let's try and pick it back up on a better note with some strawberry watermelon. Look at that. Looks very nice. And I'm very excited for this one because as I mentioned before, this is a compound flavor, not just a simple one dimensional one. Cause they've only really done one, you know, compound flavor with two distinct flavor profiles in there, which I don't know why they've done that, but 
I predict this is gonna be better just because it's multiple flavors, but let's see. Strawberry watermelon, let's give it a quick smell. I can still taste the lemon lime, lads. <coughs> Not ideal. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Unamount. <laughs> whoa. That is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. By far, this is the strongest smelling um, flavor so far. Strawberry watermelon. And right off the bat, it is unbelievably strawberry forward. I don't think I'd be able to detect that there's watermelon in this, in the smell. Um, but yeah, really nice. Imagine like strawberry gummy candy. That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Really strong. Oh, that's the best smell one by far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the smell's on point. Now for the taste. Oh, as I thought, as I thought. Wow, mm hmm That is, I don't even need to think twice. I don't need to think twice. Strawberry, wow, no, no, give it back, mate. I need another. Oh my God, that is the best one by far, man. This is what I'm expecting. Come on, man, this is better. This is, Prime was, I was a bit worried for Prime, I'm not gonna lie, but this brought it back. Unbelievable. You're getting 60-40 action between the, the strawberry and then the watermelon makes up the 40%, but it is blended really nicely. Wow. Now this is like a G Fuel flavor. This feels like something that G Fuel would come out with. And this the strawberry is very candy-like. So make, keep that in mind when you're buying it. So think of it as strawberry ver, a strawberry version of peach rings. So Sonic peach rings is obviously peach. If you can imagine that as a strawberry thing, this is what I'm getting with here. That is really good, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dude, I could keep sipping on this. This is beautiful. This is the first one where I'm like, I would definitely go out and buy this again. Grape as well, kind of, but this is the first banger flavor. This is certified very, 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 very scrumptious. Strawberry watermelon, as I predicted, man. The compound flavors, I don't know why they haven't made more of them. Because they clearly have the potential to, and they've just decided not to. So in the future, I hope they do come out with some more, you know, flavor combos in their drinks. But yeah, grape and strawberry watermelon up top for now. Lemon, lime, and orange lagging behind a little bit, but this is the cool packaging one. It stands out from the rest, if I'm being honest. Like Meta Moon and Ice Pop, they both look the best. So let's try this Ice Pop one. Here we go, Ice Pop. So I'm predicting this is gonna be a lot sweeter than the rest, no tart element about it. But, who knows, let's have a look. Uh-oh, we've got a bit of a lemon-lime situation going on here. Not as strong. I'm also getting hints of cherry in there. It does smell like Dr. Pepper a bit. So maybe this is like a cherry ice pop? But who knows, here we go. Let's see what the taste is like. Mmm. Mm-hmm, exactly like the smell, cherry, cherry, cherry. Yeah, no, mm, mm I've said this before and I'll say it again. Cherry is no bueno for me, mm, -mm. Um, I'm disappointed because I thought Ice Pop would be not that much cherry. I didn't know that that was the main flavor profile in that. <clears throat> but yeah. Not ideal, unfortunately. If you're a big fan of cherry, I would definitely recommend this one. But for me, I don't like it. So unfortunately, it's gonna go below orange. But nothing will be as bad as lemon lime. I hope not, at least. For Prime's sake, I hope nothing's bad as lemon lime. All right, let's knock it out of the way. We've been waiting long enough. I know what this is gonna taste like. It's gonna taste like G Fuel Fruit Punch or the Red Gatorade. I'm not, I don't need to do a big intro for this one because yeah, already in the smell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's all right. I just think I know exactly what I was expecting and it delivered on that, so can't fault it. I think it's a little bit of a boring flavor, if I'm being honest, like fruit punch. For me, I know a lot of people do like it, especially G Fuel's fruit punch. For me, it's just all right. I think it's better than lemon lime, better than ice pop. Not as good as orange, unfortunately, so that's gonna go third last. And yeah. Okay, this order isn't too bad. We've obviously got two more left. Um, blue raspberry and Moon. So 
So let's get on with Meta Moon, man. I still don't know what to expect out of this. If I were to guess, as I mentioned before, it's gonna be like a frosted berry based on the color, but who knows? Also, this is cool. It has like a galaxy sort of theme on the, on the packaging, which is nice. So yeah, let's give it a smell. Ooh, you know what? You know what that smells like, lads? That is very similar to Shiny Splash and Hype Sauce. So I'm thinking this is a fruity lemonade flavor, which I'm gonna be a very big fan of. Who knows, this might give strawberry watermelon a run for its money, but yeah. Yeah, this is exactly like Hype Sauce, or maybe a little bit more strawberry in there compared to raspberry, but here we go. Meta Moon, baby. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is almost identical to Hype Sauce. It feels like you've taken Hype Sauce and put Ice Shatter in there, because there is definitely like a frosty kind of effect in there, but it's not as prominent as the sort of fruity lemonade effect that you've got going on here. Wow, this is really, good. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. This is a banger. Okay. I wasn't expecting Meta Moon to go far in this competition or this ranking, but you've impressed me, mate. You have definitely impressed me. Definitely better than Grape, I would say. Yeah, this is tough. Is it going here? I'm not getting the same buzz and the same like, oh my God, as I did with Strawberry Watermelon. So for that reason, I think we're gonna put it in second position, but still really good. To be honest, there's a big gap. I wish I could visualize it more, but for me, these two are stand out. Grape is falling behind, and then these two, or these four, sorry, are like Meh. And then Lemon Lime is just, yeah, we don't talk about Lemon Lime, to be honest. But yeah, we're already on the last one. Here we go, Blue Raspberry. This is just gonna be like Blue Ice, um, you know, G Fuel's Blue Ice flavor. Just Blue Raspberry, nothing too special. A simple flavor again, but the smell is very nice. It does feel like gummy bears. So if you've ever tried um, G Fuel's Ocean Potion, it has a tropical gummy sort of feel. This is like a non-tropical gummy, so just like a regular gummy flavor. It's really nice though, really, really nice. Imagine you've just like ground up and liquefied Haribo gummy bears. So yeah, here we go. The last prime flavor, baby. I'm hoping it's good, here we go. Pretty mid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, I, but I knew it was gonna be because I knew what I was expecting. That's the problem with the simple flavors. I feel like you know what you're gonna get, so there's no surprise factor like there is with these two, especially, right? So yeah, is it better than ice pop? Yes. Better than tropical? Yes. Better than orange? Yes. Better than grape? No, I don't think so. And there we have it. That's going to make up my tier list for Prime. Overall, I see there's potential. I, the hype definitely over-promised, in my opinion. I think it's just Gatorade. There's nothing too special about it. But having said that, these two flavors are unique and something that the competition doesn't offer. Like, I'm pretty sure you'll find Gatorade having all these flavors, but these two are very special. And it kind of annoys me because you see the potential. Prime can make these amazing flavor combinations, but they decide to just go with the grain and make these regular flavors. But granted, people probably love these, but I think these two are very, very special. And it doesn't even come close to these. Like these two are so much more advanced and they're so far ahead in my opinion in terms of taste. So yeah, Strawberry Watermelon and Meta Moon take the one and two spot. Grape is sort of in this middle spot, which is not good enough to be in the top tier, but it's not as bad as these four, or five, sorry. And then blue raspberry and orange are pretty decent. And then you have tropical punch and ice pop. I think ice pop would be a lot higher if there was less of a cherry presence, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of cherry, unfortunately. And then yeah, lemon lime is the industrial toilet cleaner. So that is getting a zero from me, terrible flavor. And it's kind of unfortunate because I was expecting a lot from that one, but yeah. That's gonna do it for my Prime Hydration taste test. I think if I give an overall score to Prime, it's gonna be like a seven. I think that there is potential, but some of the flavors are just not stand out at all. And the ones they do have are really, really nice. The one, the unique offering that they do, you know, give us. 
So yeah, Prime not too bad. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I know it's a long one. And if you have, please leave a like. It would help me out a lot. And comment down below what you think of Prime as an energy drink and if you do enjoy it and if you buy it. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.